one on a dental. A O bun on a dental. And welcome to episode 26 of the Youth Squad Legend series with AFC Wimbledon top goal scorer in the league. No, it's not Boris Theopovich, it's big old John Akinde. Come on, lad! Blackpool's attack is pretty good, but their defence could be better, and that's probably where we're going to find weaknesses. Blackpool against Wimbledon. <laughs> Press. Nick Stanko is quite a presence, isn't he? Oh, and there's the ball. Chip up. Oh, breaks. He's got to get there. Good save in the end. Mick Stanko with the corner kick. Honestly, oh, Meredith Ellis. Nice. And that's another reason why he should be sent a bite because his aerial presence is pretty decent. I'm not too sure why I've got Mick Stanko on the corners, really, or Boris Diopovic, because they're both quite tall themselves and they probably could do a job in the box. This hasn't even hit the head of Meredith Ellis, I don't think. Let's slow that down. Nope, nowhere near it. My players can use the force. Shout out to the people that got really, really upset when I said that I liked American football more than rugby. That wasn't the whole idea of my conversation. I don't care if you like American football or rugby, honestly. Just why argue over it when you plastered? Right back for a slight tap on the heels by Yoju One. It's a 30 yard free kick that they faked. Uh, well, that is no problem. Dan Cohn tips it over the bar. It didn't have any power on it. Goose Winkles. Oh, nice. Let's close this down then at the edge of the box. It's Mick Stanko with the sliding tackle. Sarkis Van's not collecting that. Oh, that's a lovely ball. And a great one-on-one -on -one save by Dan Cohn. He has to recover. Another brilliant save. I think that's a save. That's insane by Dan Cohn. Dan Cohn quickly making a name for himself. Getting really close to this striker. Stopping... That one with the inside of his leg, recovering quickly enough, getting back into position. Somehow this striker gets this one on target, I think. Yeah, he tips it onto the post. Oh, that is a good save. Well played, Dan Cohn. We're defending, we're comfortable, we're not comfortable. That is a quality cross onto a free header. The marking really did break down then. Go on, Bondar Chuck. I'm back. Try again. Bondar Chuck. The little chop. And then we've got Mick Stanko coming into a dangerous position now. Mick Stanko finishes that really well, to be fair. And I believe it's his first goal for the club. A very, very talented player will always be in the shadows of one Calamo Flannery. This is not a bad finish whatsoever. Time is running out. I want Desabato on this field. We have to score right now. It is kind of the ultimate disrespect if Desabato plays against you. They're putting a cross in. Valentin Carbiar is back there defending. Excellent. That's just one as the game. Really hard work by Valentin Carbiar defensively. Sunderland drew 2 all with Plymouth. So not only have they conceded a goal, but they've dropped points for the first time in this season. It's getting a bit cold. I could do with some tracky bottoms. I'll consider it. Boom. <laughs> AFC Wimbledon against Southend United. It's time to welcome back what simply is the greatest piece of clothing to have ever existed. The tracky bottoms. Oh, Zimriamolo standing tackle. I don't know what you are trying to do. Hold on, Enzo Body. Good push away. Gets it out of danger. There's a cross. Zimri Amolo and Jacob Vieira and Andrew flying for that. This is good pressure. Yes. Play it to him. Callum O'Flannery. Run. It's Callum O'Flannery with an opportunity. Ooh. Boris Diopovic can't do the quick one too, but Django Swinkles figured out that there was going to be space. Man, we have had the rub of the green in the last couple of episodes. But with smart ideas, Django Swinkles, the space vacated by Boris Diopovic, we kind of deserve look like that. We've got players playing in the future. They're thinking two steps ahead of everybody else. Calamo Flannery. Oh, ho, 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 bye. See you later. You're not catching me. It's Calamo Flannery all the way now. Oh, ho, ho. Try and get the ball in. I, I think I've pressed the wrong ball. That's fine. Oh, Boris Stiopovich, I think, with led with his wrong foot. So much speed in this man's feet. 
Calamo Flattery run! Oh, mate, it's so much fun! Callum O'Flannery! Oh, it's a wonderful ball! A Conquo can't hit the target with the effort. A Conquo was in a prime position to do so. Whoa, a diving save there from Enzo Bardi. One for the cameras. He'll set up Callum O'Flannery. Yeah, he's gone. He is gone. Callum O'Flannery has just set off before anyone else. Oh! What a player! No problem. Callum O'Flannery and Boris! 3-0! <laughs> Man, this is getting a bit embarrassing for South End. Oh, Zimri doesn't win it, but it's easy for Enzo Bardi anyway. And he throws it out to Callum O'Flannery, who's going to do some more damage. Oh, nuts and Nichols with the through ball to Boris Stiapovic! My goodness, this Wimbledon team is pretty decent. Enzo. <laughs> Yeah, one for the cameras, mate. I'm feeling that. What a legend Enzo Bardi is. There was no need. Well, we know where this one's going. There we go. There it is. Callum O'Flannery. Run. Score. Unlucky son. All round decent performance from Wimbledon. Not just from the attack, but the defense as well. Chipping in with some important clearances. The next game is second against third in the league. Got some excellent players. 75 overall. We got McNamara at 72. Onya Dinma. Great name. Wickham Wanderers against AFC Wimbledon. Unfortunately, a King Day's reign at the top did not last long. Stiapovic's hat trick against South End means he is now the top goal scorer in the league. That's not a player that you really want to let loose. Oh, good save, Enzo. Nobody. More defending for AFC Wimbledon. Amolo sticks a solid boot in. This is way more intense. Go on, win that head up. Ow. Oh, good save, Enzo Body. I don't know why Vieira Nan went for the slide tackle. It's a great battle at the top of the league. Vieira Nan, I don't know. Oh, it's a scramble. We just got it away. I think Enzo Body might have made two saves amongst that. No, no. Oh, that's a phenomenal header. I thought I got him all covered with Zimri and Molo. Apparently not. 20 minutes to go. The subs are now on the field. Renny Renner for a con. Quo, or any Renner running. <coughs> That's a foul! That is a foul! The referee hasn't called time. Seconds left for any Renner. Oh, the power! Power behind it, son. Man, we've given that a good go. And we can't really complain about certain decisions not going our way because we know what's happened in the last couple of episodes. We have been lucky. Uh, this time we weren't very lucky. And I believe that means that Wickham Wanderers are on the same point as us. They're a very good team. There's no denying that. We only had one shot on target. We weren't busy enough up front. Another solid outfit. Two 70s, a 72 up front. 69 in midfield, 69 centre back, 69 right back. I don't see a reason to change the team that we have. So it's AFC Wimbledon against Peterborough. Oh, oh. These might be different gravy. They just carved me up with simple passes as well. I've seen this team go up a gear. And boy, do we need it right now because Peterborough are playing way, way above us. Digging deep into the powers of recovery. Yep, yep, yep. Go, go, go. Django Swinkles. Yes, this is it. We've calmed ourselves down. We figured them out. We've got that important goal. So the long range free kick to finish up. The end of the... Are you joking me? What on earth did I just see there? Boris Stiapovic is clearing that ball. There is no contact between that player and the ball. How is that not a foul? I don't understand. I don't get it. Boris Stiapovic just got shrugged off like he was a child. All that hard work to get back into the game. We've got to do it all again in the second half. There is a fire burning within now. Mmm, bright chateau. There's a release there, Nutter Nichols! And again! Yes! Come on! Boris! Oh! Get up, Boris! Oh, get up! Bright chateau. How advanced he is. Boris the Apology has spun his man! 3 3. If we can find a winner here, the Vuvu Zayla is coming out. Head up. Got bright chatter. Oh, that's a save! Enzo Bardi! 
Keeper, I need your fantastic. That's Jacob Vieira Nan up there. Unreal, Boris. Get in. <laughs> How have we done this? Wimbledon 4, Peterborough 3. That took all the effort, all the character in these players to get back. Durante is looking like a member of Take That. Get that thing off, mate. You look ridiculous. Boris Stiapovic has scored two goals with four attempts. Big, big game for everybody in this team. And that's exactly why they're my first team, because they can do things like that. All right, this has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like. If you're not subscribed around here yet, then press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.